has taken over the world so much so that the servers are down right now when we have all these things planned. But we want to help you elevate your game once it starts to go up. We have Juan and Nick, and you guys are YouTubers. They came up with the channel after the game was launched, already had 4 million views. So what do you think is the number one question you get asked by most people? The number one question would be, how far is the Pokemon in the nearby Pokemon list? Okay. So you have an image that comes out at the bottom right hand of your screen that shows different Pokemon that are nearby. Right. So a lot of people are interested, where are they? And, and you know because there's little footprints underneath it. Now, I thought three meant close. It's the opposite. Yeah, three right. means you have to walk the farthest. Okay, so, and then it, some of them you see them in shadow and then some you actually see. Is that because you haven't caught them yet? That's correct. Okay, so is there some that are everywhere all the time? Is there certain places you should go to find them? What do you recommend? There um, are a few Pokemon that are only found in certain parts of the world. So we know there's one that's only been found in Australia so far. One has only been seen in Korea. There's one that people are only finding in North America. But for the most part, you can find all of them anywhere you are. And um, if you're near water, then you're going to get the water ones. If you're near land, you're going to get the land ones. So exactly. we've heard Old Stack is a great place to go. Now we have your questions uh, that Facebook in of Bryce Smith wants to know. How do you get more candy? And will you be able to trade Pokemon anytime soon? So to get candy, uh, an easy way to do is to capture wild Pokemon hatch them from eggs or to transfer them to the professor. Okay, completely over my head. I, I don't even know what you're saying. Okay, Kate wants to know what's the trick to catching it right away? Because you don't want to waste all your balls trying to catch it. There is a trick right now, and this is probably something that's going to get patched out soon. But if you start flicking the ball before the ball even shows up, It'll throw it and hit the Pokemon right away while it's still standing right in front of you. Wow, that's a game changer, right? Yeah. Okay, um, now what else do you recommend to kind of help people elevate their game? So the important thing is, is to raise your trainer level, your trainer level. Okay. And so the way to do that is by doing special tricks. So while capturing Pokemon, if you hold onto the ball and spin it in a circle and throw it at an angle, it will curve. You'll get more points for a curveball by doing that. I didn't even know that ha that could happen. Now, <laughs> yeah. how do you guys figure this out? Do you end up experimenting and trying? Or are you reading other stuff? Or on our channel, we do a lot of different experimenting. He did the, one of the most important experiments that people really want to know is. What does one footprint mean? What does right. two footprints mean? And you even equated what the distance is. You figured it all out. So let everyone know, what is your YouTube channel one more time? And um, you're on there all the time answering questions. We, are. we answer as many questions as possible. And if you guys need anything answered, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments in the video section. Okay, and what is it called? You see it there, T-R-N-R-T-I-P-S. We'll also put it on our website. Thanks, guys, yeah, for coming in. We're having our uh, viewers coming in as well. Hopefully, these guys will stick around for that. Code back of you. Sounds good. Coming up at 10, Tina Makua is... Uh